I want to know your level of disgust with what's taking place this year and if it matches the level of disgust we as the fan base have. Well, you know, I will say this. I mean, you know, coming off the 2015 season when we won 10 games, um, obviously we had, you know, we had much higher expectations for how we're going to do this year. This season did not go well. Um, this has been a long season for us. We're not obviously happy with the outcome. Uh, we're frustrated, probably like the fans are. I mean, it hurts us just like it hurts them when we lose games. We put a lot of time and effort into this. But obviously things did not go our way this year. And then from an internal standpoint, we're just kind of focused on trying to look inside and make sure we're doing the right things and trying to turn this thing around and continue on our path. I mean, I think the we knew going in it was going to be, um, you know, a, a process of trying to go in to turn this thing around. We obviously made some good progress last year, but we're still focused long term on building a young core of players going forward. And we feel, you know, even though we had a lot of injuries and adversity this year, we do feel we had some young guys that we feel will be the foundation for this team going forward and that uh, actually got an opportunity to play and, and did some good things. Explain, so explain to me, as if I'm the fan base, the reluctance all year long, once you were legitimately out of any kind of playoff contention, why stick with Fitzpatrick as long as you did and not give Bryce Petty and or Christian Hackenberg real-life game opportunities to play? Well, you know, when it's all said and done, that's Todd's decision who to who to play and when to play him. And um, and I support Todd from that from that standpoint. Uh, I think Todd always felt you know very important about hey making sure the players um, had earned the opportunity uh, and were also ready for the opportunity. So I think you know looking back on the season, obviously you know Bryce got in, Christian didn't get in. Um, but I do think those guys, you know, I think they're, I mean, they're focused on making sure these players develop and fulfill their potential. And I think even as you look at our season, there were other players that, um, as the season progressed, for example, like, you know, you know, even veteran players like Bilal Powell got more opportunities later in the season.